car, it's not illegal to use a GoPro contour handy cam, whatever camera whilst driving. Probably not advised, but certainly not illegal. Telephones? Yeah. But uh, handheld cameras? No. So, please don't write to me and go, you mm, shouldn't be doing that. Because I can. And if I crash, everyone can laugh and say, ha, ah, you idiot. Let's get to the shop. Who's haste? Okay, let's go pick up that DJ Itello. Hey, how you going folks? Welcome. Uh, yeah, good news and bad news. Good news is I picked up my uh, DJI Tello drone from my supplier. About 150 bucks, Australian. Bad news is, uh, yeah, um, raining. Crap. Can't fly in the rain. But I will fly it indoors, so. Oh, bit of water. I will fly it indoors so, um, and do an unboxing, so let's go check it out. Crap weather. Man. Well, how you going folks? So I've got the Tello at home now, so I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing here. Um, yeah, I have actually unboxed it already, so I couldn't wait to get my camera out. Uh, and I want to make sure I had a bit of charge in it so that I can show you guys um, just a cold pairing. Is it as good as the JDRC or the E-Shine? You guys might know from my previous videos. These are uh, cheap Chinese rip-offs. Uh, good fun though. Bang for your buck. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, have a lot of fun with these. And I've lost one of these as well. But if you lose it, doesn't cost you a small fortune to replace it, so how does a Tello compare with these drones? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's see how um, easy we can pair this. So, when you get your Tello in its box, what we've got in the back here 13 minute flight time, 720p HD, precise hovering, multiple flight modes, terrific. 5 meg camera, easy operation. Electronic image stabilization and programmable with your app. Uh, now, it does come with accessories, not included. So, uh, the remote controller, apparently a couple pair with this, but I'd recommend getting the uh, one there at DGI recommends, which I'm picking up later today. Um, you can get a battery charging hub, should you have multiple batteries. And with the unit comes just the one battery, and you can get some funky colored tops if you want. So that's the drone there. Inside the bottom here you'll find a manual, a bit of a warranty card, two spare props and that's pretty much it. And there uh, you get another plastic thingy here which the battery comes in which I've since put into the drone. Uh, two pairs of props and a little tool to replace the props with so Let's have a look inside here. I think this is like a little Allen key type setup to remove and replace the props. Um, quite flexible. They look like they'd, they'd probably cop a bit of a beating without cracking or breaking. Hopefully, I don't want to try that. I'll just have a quick read over the manual. A second read, no worries, that's that done. Okay, let's get into the drone here. Plastic, and plastic, and here it comes. All ready to roll with prop guards fixed. Um, as I did mention, the battery which just slots in here, proprietary battery just pulls in, pulls out, and pushes in. Make sure the writing's facing down, shove them in. Little uh, on off button on the side here, push it, and there's also a uh, push to pair. So, for your initial pairing, which I'll do directly, 
you got your uh, micro USB port for charging. No room or allocation or anything uh, to do with micro SD slots. And that's all. Sorry, oh, I'm just looking up there. It looks like a little slot for a micro SD card. Maybe in the future I'll put one up there. Yeah, so no micro SD in it. Um, all gets recorded straight to your phone once you do the necessary permissions, etc. So you need to charge the battery uh, when you first purchase it because it doesn't come fully charged. So push it until it clicks. And then you've got your 720p camera in the front there. Uh, of course, it's not adjustable. If you want to remove these prop guards, they just simply click off like so um, but to start with I think I'll leave them on otherwise we could have some trouble so they just slide back on there and until you hear them go click if they're loose like that they're not on so just hear that little click click so they're all nice and tight but they just prop on them pull off as you need um, nice little rubber feet there for your crash landings that's pretty cool pretty good uh, weight about it it actually feels um, like it's probably the same weight as the JDRC, believe <laughs> it or not. So, quite nice design. Uh, it's got some sensors here for your height, because it tells you how high you are off the ground. So, anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's do a cold pairing, see how easy it is. So, what you're going to need to do is get your mobile device. And we're going to need to go to the Wi-Fi. Turn your Wi-Fi on, push the button on the side there, you'll see a green then red flash. So it goes purple and on your Wi-Fi you'll see, hopefully, Tello AB78. So you connect to the Tello. And we still have an orange flashing light there. Not too sure what that means. Maybe we go to the Tello app now. And the Tello app comes up. Still have a flashing green. Oh, it says connected. Oh, now we have a green flashing light. So I'm assuming uh, that it's connected. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is hit the pause. Okay, sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is beginner's guide. Up, down, left, right. Okay, so we have a battery indicator, Wi-Fi indicator, Bluetooth indicator, speed, meters per second, and a height. Looks like it's in meters as well. So at the top of the app we have settings, flight modes, take off and land, Playback, switch between photo video mode, take pictures, start or stop recording. Very good. Into flight mode menus, tap that. Different flight modes, uh, done. Okay. Alright, so here we have video. You can see video on the phone, that looks pretty good. 720p, okay. Let's have a look at our settings. So, as I said, I haven't done this before at all. So, completely new. New firmware detected. Upgrade now. Alright, let's go for it. Downloaded. Update. So, we're doing a firmware update. Cue the fast forward. Upgrade successfully. Hmm, anyway. <laughs> Please connect to Tele. Right. Connected to the wrong Wi Fi. So, you guys probably know if you're um, anywhere near your home Wi Fi or any other Wi Fi, it reverts back to that one. So, let's wake the Tele up. Connect.
Okay, connected to Tello AB. Alrighty, so what's changed? Who knows? Let's have a look. We've got slow and fast settings, VR mode. Mm, okay. Bluetooth controller settings, game controller, dog game. So this is uh, what you use for your hand remote, which I'm going to pick up later. So take off land, flips, 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 flips. Take photo, record video. Pretty cool. It's going to be handy because I hate flying with mobile devices. It's a pain in the butt. Let's go back. Wi-Fi more. Oh, okay. Beginner's guide. I think I've already seen beginner's guide. Oh, no. Let's go back here. Measurement system. So we can switch between metric and imperial. Imperial, sorry. Photo quality normal high. Let's go for high. Low battery warning. 50%. Let's go for 20% low battery warning. Stick mode. Mode 1, mode 2. No idea what that is. EV middle bit rate. Auto. Looks good. It's the second one here. IMU status. Ooh, calibrate. Ooh, let's do some calibrating. Place the aircraft on a flat surface and take off the propellers using the propeller removal to calibration. Uh, no, I'll do that later. I'm not taking them off now. Center of gravity calibration. Mm, firmware version. One. 0.03.33.01 Okay, we have the latest firmware. Thought I'd check that. The app version. Da -da 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 -da. Rise help. Alright. Hopefully you won't need to do any calibrating. So let's have a look at Oh take off stop. No, back. Different flight modes. Throw and go. Okay. Throw and go. Tap the icon above. Motors begin rotating slowly. Gently toss the aircraft upwards and okay. 8D flips. <laughs> 3D would be enough. Up and away. Record a short video whilst flying upwards and backwards. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. 360 degrees. Record a short video while spinning 360 degrees in one place. I think I might try that one. Circle. Record a short video whilst flying in a circle. Cool. Bounce mode. Automatically fly up and down within 0.5 and 1.2 meters of a flat surface below the aircraft. Okay. We could probably do that one. Well, let's do a 360 before. 